the Sunday school teacher from the cathedral came to see us again and said, you know, really enjoyed the figures that you made for me last time. But I've got some friends here who are going to visit Ghana. And what we thought, would you be able to make us some figures so that they could take them and give them as gifts to the church in Ghana? Very similar to the ones like you've made for the cathedral. And they told us the story about how when they go to see this church in Ghana, they often go to the beach for the day, um, which gave me the idea, oh, probably the best story would be for that would be um, Jonah and the whale. <laughs> Well, one of the churches in North Allerton has a link with the school. They helped to build the orphanage and the school and school. And it was through that church because they come to our school to do assemblies at our school. And uh, they asked a group of teachers and head teachers if we would go to the school to help the teachers there. The school, it's a very big school, it's as big as my school, it's got 240 children um, and uh, it's, but it's on two floors, it's got a ground floor and an upper floor which has just been completed this year. Uh, there are 10 classrooms now all together. Why did you tell the story on, on, on the beach? Well, the children who live in the orphanage usually go to church every Sunday. And in Ghana, the church services are very long, about three hours. And it's a long time for the children to sit. And it's a very hot country, so it's a very hot time. So when we go out to Ghana to work with the school, we always try to make Sunday a special day for the children. And we take them to the beach and we have a picnic on the beach and we swim. And as part of that day, we have what we call beach church and we have a church service on the beach. So that was why we told the story as part of that. How, d how did you get the children involved in the story? When we told the story, we asked them to draw a picture of the story in the sand. We asked them to draw Jonah and the whale uh, in the sand because you can do that with your finger in the sand and they all enjoyed doing that. A special fabric back from Ghana for you. It's called Kente fabric because of the designs that are on it and I hoped that you might be able to use this in the workshops for some of the things that you make. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you Sue. Pleasure. Bye Ian. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure Ryan. Thank, Thank you, you Sue. Sue.